we are heating things up here on Entertainment City. A bikini clad model making history and Johnny Depp heading to the tropics for part two of his whirlwind wedding. Wedding bells are ringing for Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. The couple reportedly said I do at their LA home before jetting off to Depp's private island in the Bahamas for a second ceremony that's set for this weekend. The pair first met four years ago while filming The Rum Diary. This is Heard's first marriage and the second for Depp. He and his ex wife Vanessa Paradis have two children together. Mila Kunis soars to new heights in Jupiter Ascending. The actress and new mom says she surprised herself by doing almost all of her own stunts in the sci-fi. I've never been in, in better shape than it was for this movie. Who knew that I can actually fall from an 80-foot drop and live? It's pretty amazing what your body's capable of doing. Her Majesty's life is going to change if she wants it to. Forget the action scenes. The celeb's biggest challenge was wardrobe related. It was beautiful to look at. It was not great to wear. The dress was like 30 pounds and the headpiece was 15 pounds. Here we go. Jupiter Ascending reaches theaters Friday. There's a whole lot of skin on the just revealed cover of Sports Illustrated's Swimsuit Edition, courtesy of Hannah Davis. The model who is dating retired baseball star Derek Jeter nabbed the Glossy's coveted spot. And for the first time ever, the mag is featuring a plus size model. Ashley Graham is striking a pose in the Curves and Bikinis ad campaign. Look for the new issue of Sports Illustrated on your next issue app. The one and only Beyonce, the latest performer to sign up for the Grammys as the countdown to music's biggest night gets down to the wire. Our Brad Smith is in L.A. with the awards show buzz. The parties have been going on all week, but behind me, they're setting up for the biggest party of the week. They're laying down the red carpet for the 57th annual Grammy Awards. Let's take a look behind the scenes as they set up for music's biggest night. Follow me. Music's biggest stars will make their way down the red carpet to right here. This is Entertainment City's actual booth where Dina Pugliese and Ed Robertson will be bringing you the hottest red carpet interviews. I feel like it's too surreal to be real. Yeah, it's a great time. It's fun. It's a moment of a lifetime. It's going to be loud. It's going to be awesome. Once all the interviews are done, there's one last stop before heading into the Grammys, posing on the photo wall. Now the crews will be working hard to finish this before Sunday night, but that is your behind-the-scenes look at the 57th annual Grammy red carpet setup. Country Teen Idol Hunter H takes the stage at Grammy in the Schools Live, and Entertainment City has your exclusive Canadian access. Any chance we get to give somebody a reason to believe in their dream, whatever it is, like in the arts of any kind, but especially music, because I, I know what that feeling is like. Yeah. Man, I, I want to do everything I can. This Sunday, Hunter may just bring home Grammy gold. He's nominated for Best Country Solo Performance. Have any pre award rituals that you go in to get you ready for Sunday? I, every year it's been different for me. Like the first year I came, I was I was nominated for more than one, which is nuts. But um, I bought a watch in celebration. I had a buddy that was like, "You've always wanted to buy this watch." So I was like, "No, I don't need to buy this watch." He was like, "No, you should. You should treat yourself." And I was like, "No, it's not happening." The day before the Grammys, I bought the watch. I get the watch. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna wear it again this year. This event is a once in a lifetime opportunity for aspiring young musicians to meet industry professionals. Well, Grammy in Schools Live is an event that we're producing on behalf of the Grammy Foundation, whose mission is, amongst others, uh, music education for young people. And tonight, the fun continues with the Canadian Consulate Grammy Party. This year, from City's hit show, New Girl, Hannah Simone takes on hosting duties. Chantal Krebiatsik hits the stage, and you never know which famous Canucks might show up. That's it for me here in Hollywood. Back to you guys. Thank you, Brad. And remember, you can always find the latest entertainment headlines on Twitter, at NCity. Canada, what up? All the stars, all the parties, all week long. <laughs> Life is just tough, party after party. Entertainment City's exclusive Canadian coverage of the Grammys. An exclusive Canadian interview. This week, only on Breakfast Television. And it all leads to this. Oh, you full love you. Of the I love you so much. Live. Am I looking in there? From. Hello, Canada. Music's biggest night. Be at your television set early. Entertainment City, live at the Grammys, Sunday, February 8th.